Hey, what's up everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 video. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm in the PTS because the phase two of the PTS is live. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know when the PTS phase two will be live. I was actually poking around the PTS here and there and uh, was trying to figure it out what has changed and not because I I honestly forgot what's changed. So I saw a few changes here and there, uh, but then I saw the big horn, uh, the assault rifle. I'm pretty sure every guy is familiar with the Bighorn Assault Rifle. I made a, a Bighorn like review video like a long time ago when the Bighorn actually came out in TU8. Uh, pretty sure it's TU8. So with the legendary mission, of course, because it's a legendary mission weapon. So you can only get it from legendary missions. Still, it's the same thing. You can only get it from legendary missions. You can't get it from anywhere else. No exotic cash. Nothing will drop you the big horn. So if you want a big horn, you got to go do the legendary missions. But the good thing is the legendary missions are actually kind of easy. Um, nowadays, you can complete the legendary mission than it was before. So yeah um I, i'm not going to talk about that but it, it's totally up to you if you want to get it but the question is is it actually worth it now uh after all the changes they made because they did two changes on this big horn so at the first phase of the pts they made the big horn like magazine from 30 to 40 and that's basically what they did but now they added an additional talent to it and i would say it's quite interesting and it's really performing uh, very well especially on pc it is because the big horn actually kicks in a lot so let me show you the weapon here with the big horn there it is and you can see we have 40 mag here, uh, the 800 RPM, the total damage here and all that. So now the talent is Big Game Hunter. So it's exactly the same. You can see 450% weapon damage when you're like scoped in, you know, the semi-fire mode. So uh, that's the same it is. But here, the additional talent here, which is the headshots grand 2% headshot damage stacks up to 50 times. Yeah, so whenever you're doing the headshot, doesn't matter if you're scoped in or not. So it works both ways. Um, so even if you're not scoped in, it'll work. So every time you get one headshot, uh, you will increase your headshot damage by 2%. So it stacks up to 50 times. So if you can get 50 headshots, then you will have 100% headshot damage. Yes. Um, and once the stack is full, every four seconds, you're going to lose 10 stacks. So if you don't get a headshot for four seconds, your stack will go down by 10. So if you have 50 after four seconds, if you don't get any headshots, it'll be 40. Then it will be 30 like that. So every four seconds, you only lose 10 stacks. So that's basically it. But if you keep shooting those headshots, uh, you will not only uh, gain the extra headshots, like I mean the stacks, but also going to reduce the time that it takes to uh, you know decrease your stacks. So it will delay uh, the, the time of the stack. So it won't be four seconds. It could be like, I don't know how much exact second it is, but it's felt like five seconds or six seconds, I guess. So yeah, it will be reduced like that. So that's basically the talent here. Now, it may not seem so impressive, but trust me, it is. The reason why I'm using this uh, big horn on my rifle build, my go-to rifle build, which I use with this classic m one with boomerang, boomerang talent, uh, and you can see the build literally three piece providence, you know, the group of Somra holster, the Fox's prayer knee pads and the contractor gloves, you know, the, the classic rifle build. Um, now I went for glass cannon here, not just glass cannon, but perfect glass cannon is because uh, the big horn, the scope, even the big horn scope looks big, but it's not that really big. Yeah. Uh, it can scope in with this, but the, 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 the focus talent will not work. Uh, even if you scope on that. So I had to drop down the focus chest piece and I went for the glass cannon because I wanted to compare these two weapons, my classic M1A and the big horn at the same time. But remember, classic M1A is a rifle, big horn is an assault rifle, okay? So we're gonna test both this weapon out in the similar build and see how it actually does. So first, let me show you the amount of crit chance and crit damage and headshot damage I get with this build uh, with the big horn. So right now, big horn is my primary. I'm getting 48.5% crit chance, 179% critical hit damage, and 120% headshot damage. Now the reason why my crit chance is lower because big horn itself doesn't have any crit chance mod in it. So you can see we have 30% headshot damage on the scope. Uh, we have 10% accuracy on the muzzle. We have 10% stability on the grip and 10% reload speed on the uh, magazine. So there is no crit chance, crit damage on the uh, mods itself. So that's why the, the crits are lower. Now you can tell me that it, what if I put crit chance mod here and then I have 60% crit chance to go with, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I'm just keeping it the way it is. There's a reason behind it. 
uh, is because I wanted to have the crit damage as high as possible because with this boomerang, I mean, classic 1A, if I show you my crit and crit damage, you can see my crit damage is 191.4 and my crit chance is 53.5, which is pretty good for a rifle build. So I wanted to keep this thing on par with this one. So I just wanted to see how much damage I can actually put on with it. So this is basically the build. Now let's try it out and how it works. Let's see. So first with the shooting range, I'm going to use my uh, rifle. Now for those of you guys who don't know what the boomerang talent does is whenever you crit hit, like whenever you do a critical damage, there's a 50% chance of the bullet, you know, to return to your magazine. And when the bullet is returned to your magazine, the next shot will do 40% increased damage. It's a really sweet talent. Ask anybody. The, most of the people will run uh, boomerang talent on their on their rifle. Uh, some may even run different, but I sometimes use InSync, but Boomerang is really sweet. So if I use my rifle with this build and hit it on a headshot, you can see that was almost a 2 million like headshot damage because I didn't crit. But whenever I crit, I'm doing 3.8 million uh, on the head. And now that's that's basically my, my damage on the rifle list. But remember, that's not the Boomerang damage. The Boomerang damage will be even better. Uh, so if I crit and the Boomerang procs, like right now the Boomerang procs, as you can see, I have it. Now if I crit right now, my damage, look at that, 4.4 million. You see, that was the boomerang crit damage. So that was 4.4 million basically with the boomerang, that how I, that high I can go with this uh, rifle. Now let's try it out the big horn now. So for example, if you're using the big horn just for the body shots, I mean, I know it's really hard to control, like it goes up all the way. It's really hard to control, but if you're using on the body, it still hits really hard. Like if I show you on the head, I mean the body, you can see I'm critting for 610K on the body. You see 610K on the body when, when it has armor. And of course, when the target doesn't have armor, I'm critting for uh, 683,000 because at the end of the day, it's still an assault rifle. It has that health damage on it. So that's still really impressive for an assault rifle to crit on the body for uh, you know 610K. That's really nice damage, not gonna lie. That's really nice. So for those of you having trouble aiming on head, you can always do it on the body and you know, you'll still do a lot of damage. But let's talk about the headshot there, damage here. So uh, if I headshot here, as you can see, the stack is building up. You can pretty much see the stacks on here. So I'm at 14 stacks. Uh, so I, if I keep on shooting on the head, I will build up the stacks here. And you can see the damage already hitting 1 million, like 1.16 million. I will go all the way to 1.2 million. You can see 1.2. Now you see that red uh, line kind of coming down. So every four seconds when the red line meets all the way down, you lose 10 stack. You can see my stack is going down by 10 uh, in four seconds the, when the line goes all the way down. So that's basically what it does. Uh, okay, now let's try it out with the scope in uh, damage and I see how much damage it can actually do when we are scoped in. So I'm at 48 stacks right now. So if I shoot two more times, I'm going to get 50 stacks. And if I shoot with the scope pin, as you can see, I'm already hitting 4.7 uh, million. The last shot was 5.5 million as a crate on the head. Yes, 5.5 million on the head. You can see 5.3 million now. My headshot damage is not that high. Like it's not 50% yet. I mean, not 50%, but 50 stacks. Uh, which is 100% of course. So you can see the big horn is beating my classic M1A rifle in terms of headshot damage. And that's really, really, really impressive. And I'm really glad they did this to the big horn since it has a semi-automatic fire mode. And I'm pretty sure most people will use that when the targets are far away. So they're gonna go for the semi-auto. And if the target is close or medium range, they're gonna go with the full auto. And full auto, you, you already saw that the full auto is doing like 611,000 um, um, crit damage uh, on the body, which is really sweet, and on the head is hitting for 1.2 million, which is really nice uh, on this assault rifle. I mean, it's an assault rifle in the end, like I said. So every time you get a headshot with all the maxed out stacks, you're going to be critting for 5.5 million on the big horn. At least on my build, I'm critting for 5.5 million, which is really, really, really impressive. Uh, you know, against against the classic on 1A and. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This uh, this is really sweet, and what they did uh, is really good. And now I would say totally that the Bighorn is really much viable uh, to use. So if you're playing a legendary mission and or you're just looking for the Bighorn, or you're one of the guys who likes to get every single weapon in the game, doesn't matter who you are. But I would say Bighorn is still really good. I mean. Actually, it's good now. It wasn't really good before, but it is good now uh, with the 40 mag. It's 
it's acceptable for an automatic assault rifle with that 800 RPM and the scope in whenever you're using it as a scope in 40 max should be more than enough uh, for for the semi-auto mode and the amount of damage is actually doing on with the perfect glass cannon like I said you, if you use different talent your damage may vary but the amount of damage is actually doing and beating my classic M1A on the head yeah, I would say it's totally worth it. So you should definitely, definitely, definitely uh, try to get this weapon on the uh, from the legendary mission. Uh, and it's really much viable now. So yeah, that's basically it for the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.